A really good trial attorney always has a trial brief ready for the judge. And no, I'm not talking about the difference between boxers and briefs, but I want to share with you why having a trial brief is critical when trying these civil lawsuits. You want to know what this is about? Come join me for a moment as I share with you some great information. Hi, I'm Jerry Oginski. I'm a New York medical malpractice and personal injury trial lawyer practicing law here in the state of New York. Every time there's a civil lawsuit involving accidents or medical malpractice or wrongful death, there is always a legal dispute that will arise during the course of trial. In fact, there will be many of them. Now, the really good, smart trial attorneys will have legal cases prepared in support of their position to then hand up to the judge to show. Judge, in other cases, other judges in this court, in this state, have ruled this way. That's why you now need to rule in our favor. And this happens in every single trial. So you will find that attorneys who have this prepared, and they must have it prepared beforehand, now can give the judge what's known as a trial brief. Now, it's not a condensed version of something. It's not a summary of something. Instead, a brief is simply a collation, a collection of prior cases known as precedent, legal precedent, to show to the court, hey, by the way, the highest court in this state has ruled this way in a similar case. This court has ruled this way in a similar case. So now, here are the set of facts. Here's what we are asking you, the judge, to do in this particular case and why you should allow us to introduce this evidence. And now the judge will have to analyze and interpret this. Now, at the same time, the defense will be given an opportunity to oppose that. And he'll have to come in with his own trial brief with other legal cases that go ahead and support the defense's position. And now the judge has to go ahead and evaluate both sides. We want to show the court, we want to show the judge that there are many cases in favor of us, in favor of our legal position. If we have only one, now we're fighting an uphill battle because the defense will also find just one case to go ahead and oppose that. And now what does the judge have to do? Which one do I rule on? Do I rule for the plaintiff or against the plaintiff based upon that one case? The whole goal is to provide as many cases as possible that's on point, that's identical or very similar. So now the judge has a legal reason to go ahead and rule in our favor. And you know, I made the comment, it's not a difference between boxes or briefs, and that's absolutely true. A trial brief has nothing to do with an attorney's underwear at all. Instead, it's a compilation of legal cases that we must provide to the judge when we run into a legal issue that will come up every single time during the course of trial. Why do I share this great information with you? I share it with you just to give you an insight and an understanding into what goes on during these civil lawsuits involving medical malpractice, accident cases, and even wrongful death matters here in the state of New York. You know, I recognize you've got questions or concerns about your own particular problem. Well, if your matter happened here in New York and you've got questions and you need answers, what I encourage you to do is pick up the phone and call me. You know, this is something I do every single day and I'd love to chat with you. You can reach me at 516-487-8207 or by email at jerry, G-E-R-R-Y, at oginski-law.com. That's it for today's video. I'm Jerry Oginski. Have a wonderful day.